my fellow felines, this is Kitty Cat Plays with Yarn here, and welcome to a different video for a Friday. Um, I know Friday is typically Birthstone Legacy Day, but that's going to be moved to tomorrow because of this collab. Yes, I did say collab. So, welcome to this collab. How many times can I say collab in one video? Let, let us see. Uh, drink a sip of water every time I say collab. <laughs> That would keep you hydrated, I believe. Um, but yes, so like I said, this is a collab with some of my lovely friends um, from the Sims streamers and YouTubers page on Facebook, uh, specifically some of my mod admin friends. So in this collab, it is going to be me, uh, Hip Hip Renee, Unique Simmer, and Simmer Aaron. Um, and Unique Simmer is the one who kind of came up with this idea, and she just wanted us to pretty much make, um, sims and houses for every season. So I decided to choose winter, um, because Unique had already chosen fall, and that's my favorite season. So I chose winter, and... This is the sim that we're working with. I honestly couldn't remember, can't remember her name, I couldn't tell you. Uh, can't really remember any of her traits either, but that happens. And I actually just finished the house as well, and let me tell you, that is Christmassy AF. And I feel like it makes sense for it to be super Christmassy, because like winter, Christmas, I don't know, that's what I associate. So the house is like very red and green and all decked out for Christmas. It has two Christmas trees, a bunch of Christmas decorations literally all over the house, and I really like how it turned out. I hope you guys like it as well. Um, and it is on the gallery if you want to download it under the hashtag kittycatpwy or my origin ID, which is kittycatpwyarn, as well as the sim, but she does have lots of custom content on her, so be sure to keep that in mind. And actually, right now, I'm kind of doing something that I hate doing, um, but I'm on a mild time crunch right now. Um, I am actually recording the voiceover before I have edited all the footage down. Um, like, the house is done and everything, but all the footage isn't, like, cut because I take lots of breaks when I build. So a lot of that isn't cut or anything yet. And I really hate when I do voiceovers like this. But this was a case where I really wanted to get the voiceover done before I before I ran out of time, basically. Um, I'm actually recording this on Wednesday, and uh, this is going up on Friday, like I said. So I just wanted to make sure that this was done and done well. Um, so right now, while I'm alone, I'm going I'm doing it so I don't run out of the time, etc. And yeah, I don't know. Um, so how is everyone doing? Uh, I'm kind of having a rough time lately, not gonna lie. Between, like, trying to fix stuff with the state, between boy stuff, between health stuff, like, it's just a mess. Um, if any of you watch, like, some of my videos recently, you know that my ankle is messed up. Was messed up. Uh, is still messed up, actually. It's been, like, two weeks, I think, fully now, uh, if not longer and it hurts a lot, <laughs> so I'm not having any of this. But I don't think it's broken or anything. Um, I don't- I genuinely don't think it is, um, because when it first happened, I went to the hospital for it, because everyone- everyone, meaning like my mom and my stepdad, they were convinced that it was broken because it swelled up and bruised up so fast. Um, but I went to the hospital, they did it- they did x-rays and um, they said it wasn't broken. It was just a really bad sprain, which in a lot of cases is typically worse than a break anyway. So it kind of sucks, but it's slowly getting better. Um, I can actually like walk on it and I've been sleeping without the wrap on it lately as well, which is good. Um, and by wrap, I mean like the ace bandage that they gave me from the hospital um, and tape. And so, yeah, I don't know, it's doing um, somewhat better, at least. So there's a little update on me and just that situation in general. Um, but now we're moving on to the house building. And I really like how this house turned out, actually. 
Um, I really like the floor plan. I like most of the decorations. I like the outside area. I actually really like the outside area a lot. Um, I really like the landscaping here, which isn't usual of me. I usually like kind of hate landscaping, but I really like how it turned out. And um, yeah, I actually do end up cutting out the landscaping because it took me a while and this house in general took me a while, not gonna lie. But um, I really like how the landscaping turned out. It's very busy just because of the lot I chose. Uh, I want to say it's a 30 by 40, 40 by 30, but I'm not 100% sure. And um, it's in Windenburg, like in one of the back lots. So it's like pretty foresty and like I was going to make it really cottagey, but then it ended up like pretty suburban. So I feel like it doesn't fit well on this lot anymore, but uh, I like it anyway and I think it's cute. And honestly, I feel like um, this style in like a heavily wooded area kind of fits like where I live. Like I live uh, in New England and um, like a lot of places are like this, like we have like, they're not gated communities, but that's basically what they are. They're like, I don't know, they just have like a big like cul-de-sac basically and it's just like lots of like nicer houses and those are like, tend to be pretty, in pretty heavily wooded areas. So um, I guess that was kind of my thought there. I don't know. But I like how this house turned out nonetheless and um, my idea behind this house is kind of strange actually. Um, so in my head, this girl really wants a family, but she doesn't have anyone really. She has her parents and that's it. She wants like, she wants like a husband and kids and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But she doesn't have that right now and that's no fault of her own. She just like can't find the right guy, which is relatable. Um, <laughs> yikes. But yeah, so like that's kind of just her issue and it's fine. But she just wants someone to spend her life with, which I understand. And um, so her house is like very like child friendly and like very family esque. And um, I gave her a bigger house for that reason. Like I picture her just wanting to have a house like pretty much ready for children. Like she has an extra bedroom already. She has like she has a lot of like things that you would typically see in bigger family houses. And that was my reasoning behind it. I know it's kind of strange, but I, I don't know. I feel like it's a cute idea. And we're not even 10 minutes into the video and I'm running out of things to talk about already. So that's a good time. Um, but yeah, so I guess a little update on uh, my life as though I didn't update you already. Uh, my throat hurts a lot right now. It just feels like really raw. So this voiceover is probably going to be a struggle. And in reality, I probably won't end up voicing over the whole thing. I'll probably just end up putting some music over it eventually. And in reality, I'm probably going to put Christmas music over it just because it is, um, just because it is a winter house and this house is very Christmassy. I know that's kind of dumb, but, uh, most of my, I build ideas are dumb anyway. So <laughs> there's that. Oh, um, I guess I'll talk a little bit more about the collab. Um, so like I said, Unique wanted everyone to pick a season and build a house and make a sim for it. Um, and so like I said, she chose fall, which I was kind of bitter about because fall is my favorite, whatever. Um, so I chose winter. Renee, hip hip Renee, chose spring, I believe. And then Simmer Aaron chose summer. Uh, and in reality, she didn't really choose summer, like her and Ren Renee were kind of just like, what one do you want? Because Unique and I were like right in the chat, like ready to pick. And yeah, so that was kind of what was left. But obviously we weren't like, oh yeah, this is mine. That's a lie. We kind of were. But like we weren't like really mean about it or whatever. So yeah. Um, and I'm going to link all of them in the description down below, of course, because they're all lovely, lovely, wonderful ladies. And I have been enjoying being in a group chat with all of them, and it's just a really good time. And now that I'm looking at the kitchen, I actually think the fridge is uh, too far into the wall, so I feel like it might cut through the back a little bit. So if that's the case, I apologize. 
But uh, also speaking about the kitchen, I actually ended up using the vampire uh, counters, which I never use because I just like, I kind of hate the like color scheme or like lack of colors, I guess they have, they have three colors on them. They have this one, they have like a brown one and they have a white one. And I, like I said, I like never use them. I don't really like them, but I felt they were fitting in this one because I did want a green counters um, and then like white-ish countertops. So the only green counters I could think of were this one, uh, the parenthood ones, which have like a dark brown countertop and modern ones. And I definitely didn't want modern ones in this house. Um, this house is very traditional, which is kind of my favorite style to build slash furnish in anyway. So I decided going, I decided going with these. I ended up going with these and I think it's a really nice fit. And as for the, the bedroom situation, so there is a master bedroom, uh, which is her bedroom. And then there is a spare bedroom, which is like kind of an office storage area as well. Um, so like there's a bed and a dresser and a mirror and side tables, but then there's also, um, like a desk with a like desk chair and computer. And also there's like a few like storage things in there. Like it's not super cluttered or anything, but, um, you can tell that like, it's not anyone's permanent room, I think. And that's, that's the direction I was going for anyway. Like I wanted to be able to be like, oh yeah, like this is just a guest bedroom. Like no one actually lives in this room. So that was kind of my thoughts on that. And that was the direction I was going in. Um, and you can see here, I'm starting already to uh, decorate everywhere and like get out decorations that I wanted to place around the house. Um, and not even just decorations. I got out like pretty much anything I wanted to place around the house. Um, Oh, and you know what's really funny? I I put stuff for a dog in this house, but I didn't make a dog in the Create a Sim. So there's that. Um, I pictured the, her to have like a Samoyed, which is like the big fluffy white polar bear dogs, uh, just simply for the the like looks of it, I guess, because like polar bears winter, you know? Um, I know that's kind of a dumb thing to say, but that's just, just how I feel about it. And also the upstairs bathroom I did cut out. Um, so yeah, and actually I don't know if I'm going to leave this other bathroom in or not. Um, because yeah, but I did, um, if there's anything cut out, there are screenshots at the end of every single build video I do. So uh, don't worry about that because you will end up seeing it one way or another, whether it's in the footage or in the screenshots. Um, or if you don't want to stick around for screenshots, you can go download it on the gallery. Hashtag kittycatpwy or my origin ID, which is kittycatpwyarn. Uh, and take a look for it, at it for yourself in game. Though with that being said, there are probably a lot of packs used in this build. Uh, for a fact, I know there's vampires, there's spa day, there's laundry day, there is seasons, and that's just off the top of my head. Uh, I also think there is some stuff from, uh, what is it even called? To the toddler pack? Uh, I think there's like one or two things from that, and probably more. Uh, <laughs> those are just the ones that I can think of like off the top of my head that I put items in from. And yeah, um, but a lot of this is base game, uh, like a lot of the core house is, so like most of the windows are base game. Actually, I think all the windows and doors are base game. Uh, the columns are from Get Together. The black pieces I use on the end are from Get Together. So uh, if you don't have Get Together, those will be gone. But I think otherwise, like the base of the house is mostly base game. Uh, the picket fence is from backyard stuff, so there's that as well. Um, but the core house is mostly base game, um, so if you want the house itself, then there's that for you. And uh, with the layout and everything, though I didn't upload it unfurnished, so it will just um, either replace missing objects or they just won't be there at all. 
Um, so say you didn't have vampires, I believe it would like replace all the counters with something base game or something like that, though I'm not 100% sure how that works, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> And also, uh, while we're about halfway through, if you made it this far, thank you. Um, but also I want to apologize for such a long video. Uh, I don't typically do cast videos and, and house builds in the same video, but I felt like this made more sense for this collab. Um, and I'm also a little lazy and didn't want to have to do two separate two separate voiceovers. Mostly because I just suck at voiceovers, but like I just, I wasn't really feeling it. And I also realized that I didn't decorate the outside of the house with the little box before I uploaded it to the gallery or before I took screenshots, which is something I usually do when I'm building like themed houses. So like I felt like I should have done it with this one, like Christmas themed, but I didn't. Uh, unfortunately. But I mean, it's it's okay. If you guys want to decorate it uh, and have seasons, then the box is right there uh, in the extra bedroom. And you can go ahead and do that for yourself. But yeah, I really just have no clue what to talk about right now. Um, because I did get interrupted during this voiceover for someone that I completely forgot was coming over. Uh, <laughs> so there's that. But yeah, that's just how my life goes. I'm forgetful and that's fine. Like, I got told, I don't know, probably like an hour and a half ago, like, oh yeah, this person's gonna come here for this. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I'll remember. Um, and I didn't remember. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, I'm 20 and already losing my marbles. So that's great. Actually, I don't think I had my marbles to begin with anyway. So what can you do? My throat is starting to really bug me, um, but I am going to persevere and I will be okay. We're working on the laundry room now, or at least where I'm at, we're working on the laundry room. Uh, like I said in the beginning, we are recording the voiceover we. I am recording the voiceover before I actually cut any of this footage down, so I'm gonna try not to talk about, like, where we are in the build in the moment because I feel like that will just kind of end poorly. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, like I said, this house has two Christmas trees. Uh, it has one of the like pre-made trees, pre-made, I guess that's pre-decorated. Yeah, pre-decorated trees uh, in the little like entryway front room. And then there is one of the trees that you can actually like interact with and decorate yourself and put presents under in the living room with the rest of the, with the, what? What am I even saying? I don't know what I'm saying. That's okay. But yeah, I actually really like how the kitchen turned out. I know I talked about it a little bit already, but I just really like it. And I really like those counters, which I was surprised, but yeah. Also, I tried to do this thing on the side table in the living room and it was so difficult. Um, I also did it in like the back hallway, I guess. Um, I wanted to put those like garland thingies so they went all the way across the table and then I wanted candles on it and I ended up figuring it out in the end but it was kind of horrible to try and get the garland on there at first. And then I also end up adding little nutcrackers on the table too, just to make it even more Christmassy. And uh, like I said, this house is just very Christmassy and I kind of love it. Not that I'm rushing winter at all. I'm definitely not because I hate winter and I, well, I don't hate winter. I hate the cold and I hate snow and I hate ice, but like, I'm not rushing it, but I'm excited for Christmas and like all the food that comes with Christmas and all of that stuff. And I'm, I'm kind of rushing fall, though, because uh, that means my birthday, and then that means Halloween, and then that means Thanksgiving. And uh, I love Halloween, and I also love, like, Thanksgiving food. So there's that. But we are getting relatively close to the end, hopefully, in theory. Um, so I think I am going to... Uh, get out of this voiceover, uh, hopefully make myself some tea because my throat isn't having any of it. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this build. Like I said, it is on the gallery under the hashtag kittycatpwy or my origin ID, which is kittycatpwyarn. 
but I'm going to leave this voice over here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you all or talk to you all in the next one. Bye. I hope you guys are having a perfect afternoon, evening, or whatever, wherever you are in your neck of the world. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to become a pop parent because I post new videos all the time. And I will see you all in the next video.